Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll explore ASP.NET Core application with React application. We will look at how we can add a React app to an existing ASP.NET Core application. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get straight to it then. So as you can see here, I have a Visual Studio 2022 opened. So if you haven't downloaded and installed Visual Studio 2022, I suggest you do so. But if you already have a Visual Studio 2022, open your Visual Studio installer and go to modify. So once you're at the workload side here, yeah, make sure you have ASP.NET and web development box checked, as well as the node.js development checked as well. So once you're done with that, yeah, download and make sure it, they are installed. So once you finish with that, let's close the Visual Studio installer and come back to the Visual Studio. Open your Visual Studio 2022, create a new project, and then let's add ASP.NET Core Web API. So this is a project template for creating a RESTful web API using ASP.NET Core controllers or minimal APIs. So let's select this, click on the next. So here we can configure our project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. But you can, you can have a look before you continue. So let's go ahead and click on the next. So here you can configure additional information like the, what type of framework you want to use and the authentication type and whatnot. Um, uh, the configuration for HTTP or HTTPS, yeah? So we're going to leave this as it is, okay? And click on the create. So as you can see here now, we have the project created for us with a bunch of folders inside. So we've got a controllers which contains a weather forecast controller. So this is just to, um, to do like a weather forecast operation. We're not gonna look too much into that, yeah? So what we do next is we right click on the, on the project. Oh, let's, let's open it, let's go to view and then terminal. So here, as you can see, it's open this terminal. So what we do is we're just going to close this again and then go to view, terminal. So this will actually open the terminal for the current project. So as you can see, it's web application one. So this is our current project here. So this is what we're going to do next year. We're going to add our React application, our, our React client application. So this is what we're going to type, yeah? So NPS create React app. Yeah, so this will be the name of the React, um, the React app here, client app. So let's go ahead and click on enter. So this will actually start creating our React app for us. So what I'm going to do is post the, post the video while the whole thing creates, okay? So as you can see here now, we've got the, the React um, client app created for us now. So let's have a look. So let's come to the terminal and navigate to the client app folder. So we are inside the client app. So let's, let's run it first to see if everything is okay. So npm start. So it's asking if you want to add it in another port. So let's put N for now. So let's go ahead and run it again. Would you like to run the app on another port instead? So basically there's something running on the port 300. So let's put Y. So it's going to start running. So as you can see here now, uh, our React client app is running. 
So as you can see here now, the app is running. Okay, so let's close it. Yeah. So right here, right now, this is what we're going to do. So let's right click on the controllers. and open folder so let's go to the app so as you can see here we've got our client app created for us here so let's right click and copy it and on the on, the, on our application let's add a new folder uh, let's go let's call it src for source okay so let's paste our client app inside So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause it. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a client app added to our added to our um, our, our ASP.NET call app. Yeah. So it's, we don't have a lot of things inside. So let's see if everything is okay. So as you can see here now, we've got our client app and with all the with all the necessary files inside. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open the index. I uh, mean, index.js. Yep, so as you can see here now, we've got all the necessary React client app sorted out for us now. So to run it inside our app here, this is what we're going to do. So let's right click on the client app here. And then um, open in terminal. Yeah, so right now we've opened it in terminal. So let's go ahead and start it. So as we can see here now, we have it running nice and solid yeah so if we look at it here we've got our our react app our react client app alongside our asp.net um, web api inside the same project yeah so basically you can build everything inside the same project okay so i will leave this video here for now since i've since you're able to get started yeah so make sure you, you have a look properly and and build on your on your on your knowledge so once again thanks for watching the video and please make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel because i've got lots of videos coming up here yeah? have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace